The following contest is a triple threat extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from London, England. Weighing in at 182 pounds, the NXT Heritage Champion, Bailey, the Punisher, Collins. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? It's this simple for the champ. Win no matter what the stakes are. And his opponents first from Topeka, Kansas, weighing in at 166 pounds, the American Dream, Adam Russell. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. A competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. Weighing in at 170 pounds, the champ! Look at how conceited this competitor is. I am glad that there are mute buttons on social media for people like this. Oh my gosh, jealous much, Corey? Also, have some guts and unfollow if they bother you so much. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. The bell is rung on this Extreme Rules match. Not the type of match for people with a weak constitution to participate in or to witness. Are you sure you're going to be all right for this one, Saxton? Uh, I'm okay for now. I'll avert my eyes when things get ugly. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Back elbow finds the mark. Elbow after elbow. Endless attack here. He had it scouted. Suplex brings him down. He knows how to avoid contact. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Someone stop this. No disqualifications has to benefit a certain type of superstar more than others, doesn't it, Corey? Get off your high horse, Cole. A no disqualifications match benefits the superstar who's smarter, faster, and better. Using the rules to your advantage doesn't make you the villain here. Oh, man, you 
can see he is feeling it now. Oh, man, come on now. Not a sledgehammer. Got it. Like that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Oh, the starving impact. Oh, these are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. I don't care who you are. You can't take a second of a of strikes just battering their opponent. He's absorbed some damage already. No stick impact. Bang! And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. And he's getting downright nastier and nastier with each of these attacks. Uh-oh. Full mount. Hammer fists. Striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. One after another. He's just dominating at this point. He's in non-stop attack mode. Oh, stomping away. He's turning the tables. He isn't allowing that burst of attacks to finish him. Outside coming. Ooh. Oh, and that buys some time. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Into the ring again. Oh, the distance on that one. Setting it up. Brain buster. There's two. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Punisher Collins! Quite the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. To win a triple threat match, you need incredible skill, instincts, or luck.